This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the newest addition to the Compliance Podcast Network, the Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance, and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. In compliance, the value of anonymous reporting is undeniable. But with Ethico, anonymity doesn't mean a loss of connection. Our blinded, two-way communication fosters an environment of trust and confidentiality, encouraging open and honest dialogue. It's not just about receiving reports. It's about understanding the story behind each one, creating a culture of integrity and respect. Transform your approach to anonymous reporting with Ethico. Begin your journey at ethico.com slash CPN, where you can book a demo, access an exclusive white paper by Tom Fox titled The ROI of Compliance, and utilize our free ROI calculator. Today on the Compliance Tip of the Day, we look at the lessons learned from the GUNVOR FCPA enforcement action. We're going to start with remediation because I found several key ones. They can be grouped as follows. Number one, Gunvor implemented a control framework for internal business developers, as well as additional levels of review for counterparty payments. Two, enhanced independent compliance committee with responsibility for reviewing high-risk transactions. Three, updated its incentives to more fully align with the uh, 2023 Evaluation of Corporate Compliance Programs document. Number four, It tested and enhanced its compliance program, including compliance culture reviews, testing new third-party due diligence processes and payment controls, and evaluating controls around business development activities. And number five, implemented a compliance communications or a business communication policy that addressed the use of ephemeral and encrypted messaging apps. Um, the Department of Justice has noted that as a part of the resolution with the criminal division, Gunvor was required to make critical enhancements to its compliance program to prevent future violations of the FCPA. From this, we can uh, in turn that companies that take forward-leaning steps on compliance will be better positioned to certify that they have met their compliance obligations at the end of their resolution terms. terms as is now required in the corporate resolutions with the Department of Justice. These prosecutions also help set the tone for the energy trading industry as a whole, and they make clear that having a robust compliance program, doesn't matter where in the world your company is headquartered, is going to be a critical element if you find yourself under regulatory review, whether that's in the, from the United States under the FCPA, whether that's Brazil in the Clean Companies Act, or the United Kingdom in the Bribery Act. A clawback is a little bit different than a holdback, as a clawback is taking back money which has been previously paid out. Uh, although it is possible to claw money back voluntarily, I would suspect most of the time you'll have to file suit to obtain any paid out monies back. Hold back is where you hold um, monies that could be paid out as a bonus pending the outcome of the investigation. So if you don't have holdbacks and clawbacks as a policy in your compliance program, I suggest you incorporate them. Know this month's sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, including this podcast, is Ethico. Have you ever wondered about the ROI of your compliance program or had concerns with presenting budget proposals to your CFO? Well, I partnered with Ethico to write a white paper on the ROI of compliance and how you can think through compliance as an investment strategy. Ethico has put together a ROI calculator for you. Check them out on the website. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested 
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network.